And joining us now is Ashutosh Mishra. He's live from Nehru Planetarium in New Delhi. Ashutosh, this is an age-old tradition that all star stargazers and people who are enthusiastic about astronomy, they all land up in Nehru Planetarium to watch such events. Tell us what is the excitement over there and uh, what can we possibly expect in the coming few hours? Well, the, you know, the young astronomy lovers like me who are very curious about these planetary movements are actually a little disappointed uh, looking at the dense uh, cloud in the sky. In fact, um, quite a minute ago, it was quite visible. And since it was supposed to begin, the uh, you know, the initial phase of the lunar eclipse was uh, was to begin at around 8.58. And since 8.54, 55, we saw around, ma you're all cloudy. And of course, we see the massive monsoon. But yeah, we see the young, curious people are here. So the telecasting has been done. Multiple, the telescope have been placed. They have always even made the arrangements uh, for the projections. So this is a huge number. But again, it's, it's, it's literally bringing a disappointment. Perhaps they will be uh, telecasting via different channels and other uh, Europe, maybe Europe or Australia. So whatever possibility could be, at least they'll be able to see it on uh, on screen. And if we also get the sources from the multiple wires, we'll also project so at least for the viewers, those who are sitting at home watching India today, will be able to see the red moon first, you know, one of its kind and of course biggest uh, lunar eclipse of this year. But uh, it's not all about only the astronomical uh, uh, incident Shreya, because uh, when we talk about moon, it all takes to our childhood, uh, you know, with the milky teeth, when the first we hear the relationship with the moon is called mama. And, you know, gradually you grow when you find a positive uh, vibr you know, vibrations about moon and that gives you an inspiration when the moon says that in life you are growing up, you are growing up, you are growing up, you are growing up, and when you grow further, being a lover, then moon gives you a different theory that a chance zara zami pe utar. So that's all about moon, we know, but at the same time, when we talk about tradition, you, you talk about the astrophysicists and then you talk about Jyotish and the Pandits, then they'll take a different philosophy. Then now there's Sutak Kal during the... Uh, do not see from the naked eyes, uh, do not eat. And there are different rituals that we believe, uh, uh, particularly in the northern India, the eastern part, and of course in certain parts of uh, southern India. But that has been always a contradiction as far as uh, uh, the science is concerned, the tradition is concerned, the belief is concerned. They always uh, have their own logics. But then when we go in our uh, ancient period, the Vedic era, Vedic Kal, then we see our Yajur Ved, Atharva Ved, all these are Vedas who have talked about this astronomy or uh, these scientific incidents that often you know the, the periodic incidents happen of course few in year few in couple year few in even decade and of course these some kind of uh, even takes a place in um, in a hundred year so that's always been a matter of curious uh, today of course it's bringing a disappointment now if i could just take a camera punch probably we'll be able to see a glimpse of moonlight a little visible visibility that i see in the sky as you know if the cloud remains of course it will be difficult uh, for all these uh, curious people those have gathered at uh, nehru planetarium in the national capital but again when we see the moon it always takes you you know makes you a poet shire and for the young children when the uh, you know, we heard from Dadi Nani's story that look, Chanda is mama. But that's the first glimpse of for this whole lunar eclipse that has started in the nat uh, national capital because of the cloudy weather. It is uh, making it a little difficult. But as and when it is clear, we'll bring you more picture. But for now, yes, uh, the young enthusiasts uh, who have come here in a huge number, they all are waiting for a single window. Probably they'll be see on a bigger screen as and when it, is get, it get, uh, gets clear. Ashutosh, sure. uh, we do uh, pray and hope that, you know, maybe the wind gods become a little generous on you and take away the clouds. But uh, are there any students or anybody around you maybe you could speak to who could tell us uh, if possible. Otherwise, uh, do tell us that what is the timeline? What are we expecting? What is going to happen? How is the moon going to look in a few minutes and then hours from now? And when will this entire... Are these people going to stay here till it finishes? The totality of the eclipse also finishes? Well, last I remember a few of these uh, solar or lunar eclipses that I covered here in Andrew Planetarium. They stay till, you know, the entire incident was completed. So how long you gonna you have planned to stay here? Looks like there's a cloudy weather. Very unlikely you'll be able to see. Yeah, as we got to know that the peak is uh, going to be around 11.45. Mm -hmm. So we have, like, we are thinking to stay till so You're going to hear till 11.30? Yeah. yeah. Looks like we have to continue the broadcast till midnight. Yeah. Anjali, be prepared for that. Because so, the, because, yeah. sorry, the weather is uh, really nice and, like, the cold weather like yeah, not a little breeze that i see around yes, here but yes. let me it was all about curiosity when we talk about moon from chanda mama to this lunar eclipse but is it bringing some disappointment as well 
No, it's it's completely fine. We'll stay till eleven forty-five. As you mentioned, that the peak is at eleven forty-five, so we are eagerly waiting for. What it. makes you more curious about these planetary movement when you talk about it? The astronomy is it the moon that always you know with different age that we grow, the moon brings some different vibe you know vibes uh, with the young, with the kids, with the older people. So basically, when I was in school time, so I went for a space set. so that made me curious like wow. how how the astrology oh sorry the astrono uh, the space the how the space the constellations the you know, stars the curiosity about the planets planets yeah. uh, by any chance did you write anything for your wife seeing moon <laughs> yeah she is very curious for uh, this is she yeah she is here yeah she is yeah. here yeah, please, come, please come so do you remember <laughs> any any words any phrase that you wrote oh, please come here yeah anything that you know seeing moon he wrote something for you okay <laughs> So again uh, I mean it looks like we're going to be here till midnight and let me also take you a glimpse of the screen uh, the telecast has started on the right. big screen at Nehru Planetarium right it's a partially visible the cloud sky movement it has already started right, phase absolutely. of the early phase of uh, eclipse absolutely uh, seems like a backup plan is also in place ashutosh for the young enthusiasts over there and best of luck to you and them we hope you get the glimpse of the moon at its peak of eclipse